Hello everyone. Here is a brief explanation about the engineering design project evaluation criteria. This practical project is a complex mental process. During the hands-on process, students will use a lot of conceptual and procedural knowledge, use detailed planning and thinking, and the selection tools and materials to manufacture their creations. Therefore, the evaluation must assess in different ways to comprehensively evaluate the students' learning results during this process. Here, the teacher shall briefly explain our evaluation criteria. The first one is the student's learning history file, which is our vehicle design engineering notes. Once a week, we will have the related activity record, including defining the problem, the preliminary concept sketch, the 3D design drawing, the predictive analysis, and the design plan choice, the student's experiment records, and related performance assessment explanations, the manufacturing steps explanation, the problem solving records, and the optimization improvement explanation. Comprehensively record these weekly engineering design notes to complete our learning history files. We recommend that this accounts for 40% of the total score. The second one is the creation standard reference assessments, that is, the evaluation data obtained from our four experiments, which accounts for 30% of our score. The third one is the practical evaluation, which is shown through the learning results from the student's working attitude, tooling operation, and material selection, which accounts for 15% of the total score. Last one is the writing evaluation, which is mainly about the cognitive assessment of engineering design and conceptual knowledge of vehicle design, which accounts for 15% of the total score. To sum up the evaluation methods mentioned previously, for the learning performance evaluation part, we will base it on the curriculum's literacy oriented towards integrated abilities in terms of knowledge, attitude, and skills. The left half shows the student's learning performance normalized in the in-depth elective course's new curriculum. The right half shows the learning objectives set in our course, as well as the specific learning abilities of the students during these activities. The last part is our evaluation method arranged in accordance to our overall assessment direction. The evaluation is to help students understand and promote learning, to clarify the teaching objectives of the course, especially in the learning of engineering design procedures and methods, during this process, we use the evaluation to stimulate students' learning motivation and enhance students' self-understanding to serve as a reference for future university entrance. The following outline is to explain interdisciplinary knowledge application. Through the study of engineering design procedures within the evaluation aspects of design, analysis, manufacturing, assessment, and optimization, our specific learning performances are as shown in the middle section of the screen, which corresponds to different interdisciplinary knowledge application. T stands for technology, E for engineering, M for mathematics, A for art, and S for science. In each stage, we have specifically integrated many interdisciplinary integrated knowledge application. We hope that students can understand the many difficulties and challenges that we will face in the future and need such interdisciplinary integrated knowledge application and experience and practice the project's manufacturing process in our course through comprehension and knowledge application to complete design manufacturing problem solving in a real design situation. This is the literacy capabilities that this course wishes the students to learn in terms of interdisciplinary knowledge application. In the future, students will realize that interdisciplinary knowledge integrated application is a very important ability for all kinds of design situations.